Hey guys, how's it going? It's Amanda. So recently I picked up the third generation nest and summer came around and found out that my central air had went out. Now that's going to cost several thousand dollars to fix because we own the home. So it's our problem. But what if you live in an apartment and all you have is window units? Or maybe you're like me and just don't want to fork out all that extra cash just to have your house cooled by central air. Being the techie that I am, I wanted to check out a smart air conditioning unit. So I picked up this one for Quirky on Amazon for under $250 shipped to my house. To make a long story short, I actually purchased it for my office upstairs, but it was too large for that window, so I had to move it downstairs. And see this LED, it's extremely bright, so some people say it's hard to sleep with. So I had no worries, I just stuck it in my living room and no worries about the lighting. Now with the lighting down, you can see it a little bit better and my room temperature is 71. So using my phone connected to the same Wi-Fi that the AC unit is connected to, I can manually set this and change this. That's great when you're on the go. Like if I know I'm headed home and it's really hot, I can go ahead and flip my phone on, hit one of the shortcuts and automatically have it kick on and set to a certain temperature. But I wanted to use it in conjunction with my Nest. Now there may be other ways to do this, but I wasn't really certain. So flipping through my Nest here, you can see there's all these different settings. It does work with the fan because the fan is still hooked up with my central AC, but there's no options for the AC itself. And I'll go ahead and show you, this is the app, the Wink app that comes with the quirky air conditioning unit. You can turn it on, turn it off, change all the settings just like you can on the front panel. So the front panel basically works like your traditional air conditioning unit would, and the app makes it the smart air conditioning, but I wanted to take it a step further and make it a little bit smarter. So I integrated IFT, which is IFTTT, or if this, then that. And on IFT, you create recipes to achieve something that you want to happen. So I have this set up with my Nest and my Smart AC, and you can see here the recipe I created, I can turn it on or off. I can have it notify me whenever it runs. I can check it to make sure it's working great, or I can edit it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click edit so you guys can see how I have it set up. So here you can see all the different parts of the recipe, but basically if my Nest senses my temperature is above 76, so if it hits 77, it's gonna to communicate to my smart AC through the internet from IFT and tell it to drop the temperature to 74. And all these temperatures are editable, but I'm home normally, so I just keep it comfortable for what I like. But if I'm away, I just don't want it to get too hot in the house. So guys, that's basically how I use my Nest with my smart window AC unit. One little note I do want to make is if you guys don't like the LEDs on the front being so bright, no problem. You can stick something in front of them. Those little holes on the front are not where your air blows out. It actually blows out the top. So you don't really have to worry about that. It can go behind the dresser or behind something. Another thing is if you pick up this smart AC, you can do this with any AC that'll work with IFT. But if you do pick up this one, please note that it is really loud like all the other reviewers say, but it does cool great and I'm quite happy with it. Well guys, thanks for checking out my video. If you found it helpful, please hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.